again we are on the conglomeratic horizons we see pebbles very well embedded between the sandstones the matrix of this uh, conglomeratic horizon is coarse grain sand and uh, this is the sandstone almost very much similar to the sandstones which we are getting in kasoli compact this is slightly fine grain but majority of the matrix is of coarse grain now these are the these are some of the boulders which we are finding here and these are very well embedded here also the important feature here is the verticality of these beds the conglomerate horizon is almost you can see vertical here this is a sandstone bed intercalated and uh, again we are finding some conglomerate there also and some pebbles now just behind this we are seeing this huge bend now this is the dragging effect which has been produced when the granite was intruding like this it was something like situation like this these were the horizontal beds when the granite intruded we are finding this similar situation here the granites intruded and this is the dragging effect very well visible here now we should be very happy to see this textbook example here the dragging effect almost stretches the sedimentary sediments when the granite intrudes into it now this is a this is this is this is something to be imagined you know something to be felt these rocks tell millions of their own stories now this dragging effect due to the intrusion so that means the intrusion of granites was much younger to these rocks into which they have intruded just above that we are seeing a straight horizontal line uh, just above this bend we are seeing this straight horizontal line these are basically glacial moraines or glacial deposits paleo glaciated deposits so we can assume that the glacier or the indus has gone this much deep and this much be around uh, approximately around 30 to 40 or maybe more meters below earlier in this was flowing some somewhere along those channels and uh, over the passage of over the years it has come down due to various erosional and uh, features now as we move north now you just see as we move north again just in front of me is the nimo basgo town and behind that are the ladak batholith so this is this massive intrusion of uh, granites have actually made these beds almost vertical here this is a typical feature and uh, i think uh, uh if we assume lower miocene times for these rocks which we are seeing here the conglomeratic horizon and the sandstone horizon in which few fossilized wood have been reported definitely definitely then the intrusion granites are much younger so if i am talking about a time period of about 20 million years these granites which we are seeing massive granites the which whom we call ladakh batholiths must be younger than 20 million years now how much younger than 20 million years that is an important question was it immediately after the low miocene times or or or, or it was much later than that now for 
for calculating that we will move to another location where we will try to find figure out whether the granites have intruded into rocks which are younger than 20 million years or not so if they have intruded into younger million years then this granitic intrusion must be younger than the rocks in which they have intruded otherwise they must be older rocks so it is now almost clear that the, the ladakh intrusion was much younger than 20 million years pani jo hai na nadi sari iske niche ja rahi hai aur plant isi se gugu 